Hey all, Will Healy here, and today I've got another Automation Basics for you. I'm actually going to talk specifically about photoelectric light sources. So I've been doing a series of photoelectric basics, and I'm going to talk about photoelectric light sources today. And the light source you select is really important for the application that you're doing and the environment that the sensor is used in. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is red light. And red light, you can see there is wide beam. It sprays out red light. And it's really easy for aligning sensors, especially if you align two sides of a through beam or a diffuse sensor or background suppression, you got to put it out there. Uh, it's not as precise, but it's usually the, the best price products typically. And um, uh, red light is just good for many basic automation applications. And it's where most people should probably start unless you know something specific about your application. So the second one I want to talk about is laser. Lasers typically have like a symbol like this on it. This is a class one laser. Uh, uh, lasers are used usually class one, class two in, in automation. And that just means don't stare into the beam and definitely don't look at it through like a camera lens or something like that. But um, this, this laser, you can actually see the red dot there. The red dot is real precise and uh, it allows us to detect small objects and do precision sensing. A lot of people think when an application is not working, they immediately jump to laser, but actually laser is one of those technologies that uh, that's really for precision, not for dirty uh, debris and, and those kinds of things. And we're going to talk about what's best for that next. And the technology that's best when it's dirty and you got to burn through oil or green or dust. Um, laser is so fine that like dust particles floating in the air can have issues or if it's as big as the beam. So if you've got a bunch of stuff in the air, laser might not be your tool. Uh, infrared will be your tool. And so you could see here, the infrared's not picking up the paper, that beeping uh, that you normally hear is the sound of my, my sensor detecting. So until I get something that, that the light doesn't burn through, then I can actually detect my object. You can't see infrared, right? It's not in the visible spectrum, but that's also a light source. Now there's lots of other light sources depending on the application. Like if you're doing color detection, uh, we'll actually have a white light source, uh, a white LED, and then three receivers. So a, a white light emitter and three receivers down here, one for red, one for blue, one for green. And so then uh, the sensor calculates to figure out what the color is. Uh, another one that you have to think about is uh, is UV. So some people use UV for looking for tracers. Is a glue present or not? You can't see the UV, but now see as I get the UV light closer, you can actually see that UV traced uh, highlighter that's there. And so you can actually, see, you see that, see how it shows up. So that, uh, there are different light sources depending on what we're trying to do. And so picking the light source uh, has a big impact. So again, there's, there's many different types of light sources. What you saw today was red light for, for basic automation applications, laser for precision applications, infrared for dirty and, and dusty kind of applications. And then there are other light sources like UV for looking for glue or tracers. And then uh, color sensors use white light. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments. And I'll also put a blog down in the comments. Uh, make sure that the blog's there, that, that gives you more details. Hope you have a great day, and until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?